Hello. These are the two golf balls that I cast out of aluminum on yesterday, January 3rd, 2019. And these are the end results. I'm going to go through the details of this experiment. Um, again, this portion of the mold was done in plaster of Paris. Um, a very dried out mold. Uh, both of these were done that way. Uh, the sprue lengths or the fill gates were about the same length. They were made out of styrofoam. When I was pouring these, I poured this one first and then this one was second. When I poured it, I filled it up and I thought, okay, while it's going in, I knew this was an open cavity. This was all foam, so I knew it had to burn this foam out. Uh, as I burned out the foam, it seemed to stop filled up and all of a sudden it just dropped into the cavity really fast and I poured in some more aluminum and then it stopped so I didn't bother filling it anymore. On this one I just continued to fill it even though I knew it was going to drop in. Uh, once it fell into this open cavity it was just going to fall in so I just kept pouring and then the, uh, a much bigger puddle on top. But the end result as you can see as it collapsed into the mold in this one it, it pulled in a cavity of air or uh, collapsed the aluminum and that caused the collapse of the top surface of the ball. And this volume must have fell in, pulled an air pocket in, and then here's a larger or another cavity that's inside the sprue. This is all open at this point. So this should have cast. So it's just interesting. You've got to keep pouring even though it doesn't... Uh, it looks like it stopped. In this case, that cavity, when it sunk in, here's the cavity in the middle of the sprue. And that's what would have sucked in as this cavity fell in. Just interesting. I'll cut all this off now and I'll just keep the golf balls. But I just wanted to record this because um, that's the result of uh, the volume of this cavity. I think this sprue should have at least the volume of this cavity. If you're going to use a foam fill gate and an open cavity for where you're molding. Because this volume is going to fall in into this area very quickly. And you don't want to have this end result of this, this end up this cavity on the top if there isn't enough volume here to fill this entire cavity at once. Anyway, lessons learned. Thanks for watching.